inside Brooks Gym for the afternoon matinee, trying to make up for the loss to Jacksonville and getting off to an early start, Michaela Barber. And newcomer Kayla Williams getting together on the block there. And then Megan Devine in the opening set would just absolutely go berserk. Ten kills in this set as the Lady Bucks would take it easily uh, by a couple of points as Devine there puts one home. And then this is set point. Crucial kill for Devine as the Ospreys were trying to claw back into it. But ETSU wins that one. Second set, Michaela Barber coming to life with a kill there. And then she'll leap up, time the block nicely. However, the Ospreys would tie things at a set apiece as the kill there from Anna Budinska ties things at 1-1. Moving on into the second half of play, Barber with another kill there, and then she'll leap up and put this one down on the way to 17 kills for the match. Bethany Giselle, a nice service ace there. And then Katie Mui with one of the team high 12 digs opens it up for Megan Devine to return it, and the Ospreys can't do anything with it. Devine still leading the charge. She will go on to a career high tying 22 kills in this one. Barber right behind with one and then two kills late. Lady Bucks needed a pair of 3-0 runs to come back from a five-point deficit. Ospreys actually had set point in the fourth set, but the Lady Bucks there with back-to-back -back kills by Ivy Rice and Bethany Giselle. That is match point, and that will do it. Lady Bucks victorious, 3-1 to one the final. How about Barber? No errors in an 8-10 hitting percentage in this match. Impressive as the Lady Bucks win. From Brooks Gym, John Stevens.